Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and it has begun the Monster Cat 10 year anniversary. We now know the whole track list of who's on it, what it is, and what it's all about. And so this is gonna be the first of 16 reactions that I'm gonna put out because I'm gonna react to every single song on the anniversary. Uh, and I'll put the video the day up uh, that the song is actually released on YouTube. Uh, so today we've got a two-parter. Uh, it's gonna be Rogue's Motion and Pegboy Nerd's Shaku? Shaku? Something like that. Uh, but this is Rogue's Motion. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited. We got to see the entire track list, uh, bit, I think a day early. Uh, and so I'm super excited for what it is. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, this is a pretty much just old songs that either never made it or never got finished or something like that uh, are now finally being released. So there's a, a year now next to all of these songs. And uh, I guess that's when the songs were either completed or mastered or originally, I guess, created. Uh, they're, yeah, it's different for each person, I think, so far. But let's just hop into it. I'm super excited to listen to it. Uh, it is Rogue's Motion. Uh, this is one of the ones I was more excited for, so I'm I'm really excited. Here we go. But uh, here we go. I believe it is future base. So it's my favorite rogue. Ooh. Something's changing in the air tonight. This does feel like a 2014 song a little bit. Because of you. Something's burning on my heart tonight. And it's all because of you. The older songs are a little bit more minimal. Like a little more strip back. Which I kinda like. 2014, 15 was like my golden age of Monster Cat, so. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, I'm a fan of this. I, I think this was before any of his actual Future Base stuff came out, so this would have been his first Future Base song, I think? Like, his... First of that style, I would say, like the fortress, mirage, oceans. Fun vocal chops. This really does feel 2014 y.
Okay. Okay. That was pretty fun. Um, so that was uh, that was Rogue's motion. Uh, I did a little looking up in the middle of uh, the video uh, to figure out when this would have been timeline-wise. Uh, and this would have been um, somewhere either before or after, uh, in between the uh, Night After Night, that Glitch Hop song, uh, and Atlantic. And Night After Night came out in um, July of 2014, and Atlantic was October 2014. And if it was late in the year, it would have become in between whatever Atlantic and Rattlesnake, which came out in February of 2015, which is my favorite rogue, rogue track to date. Um, wow, uh, that was fun. Uh, it doesn't feel as refined as uh, or as polished as uh, his, uh, I think, instinct future-based stuff was with uh, Mirage. Um, yeah, I said the Merlin Mirage, Oceans, Fortress. I love that stuff a lot too. And so this doesn't feel as refined, but it does feel like a good middle ground of like a uh, old schooly rogue track. And so this gives me, I'm just really happy that this anniversary is happening the way it is with the style of it. That is all that's going on. And uh, I'm just, uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited for more of this. Um, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> um, man, yeah, I just, I'm almost even just, I'm just grinning with, a, a ton just because of the the anniversary. I, I felt like this track. I need to yeah. I need to talk more about this track. So this track um, again drops or the uh, it didn't feel as refined as older stuff. Uh, the drops felt a little uh, more pulled back than his future base than his like more 2016 17 stuff. Um, but that's that's like normal. Like that's okay. Like I feel like if this song came out when it was supposed to in 2014, I would have like almost lost my mind for this. I would have really, really enjoyed this uh, more than I would have today, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm spoiled now that I've gotten the, um, the, 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 that polished future base from Rogue. And so this would have, like, if this came out before, this would have been, this really would have been his first actual, like, future base E track. Uh, this was years before. What even was his first one? He did Ultimatum, Drive Away. He did the Emoji Rogue remix, which I guess was technically a January of 2016. And then Imperfect Views, Nemesis, Unity, Fury, Fortress was 2018. This is four years before he really started doing this style. And so that, like, this would have blown me away back then. And so it's interesting to see that. I guess he made it and then was like, I didn't want to go this direction with the style. Didn't want to do that necessarily. And then put it on the back burner. It never made it out. And uh, here we are today listening to an unreleased track. So um, I was a fan of it. I'm a fan of this anniversary so far. Uh, that was song number one. That is Rogue's Motion. I'm really excited to see at the end how I rank all the songs together and what I think about them all. But um, yeah, that was uh, that was Rogue's Motion. But I've been Bowtie Media. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this track. Did you love it? Did you hate it? How does it compare to his other stuff? Let me know in those comment sections below. And I will see you guys in another video.